can you please begin by introducing yourself and take your time whenever you're ready. Hey, I'm George. I'm Cascadene, and I lived up north my entire life, eh? And I want to share some of the events that have brought my daughter back to me recently. So where does the story begin? My ex and I separated, and the question, who'd get the kids, came up after, uh, after a breakup. My ex was struggling. And she, uh, and she wound up in jail. Was the process of getting your daughter back difficult? I didn't really know where to turn. Um, as far as I knew, kids always got put with the mother or the mother's side of the family, you know? Uh, this happens legally and culturally a lot of the time. How did you have to change in order to get your daughter back? It was because of my grandfather and my culture. Everyone my parents' age either went to uh, residential school or day school, and they suffered a lot of trauma. Um, you know, and uh, drinking was the only way they can cope with it because uh, you know, we didn't have any uh, counselors or treatment centers here, you know, and, and uh, you know, I never really had much interest, interest uh, in my identity culture, uh, but, it was all, but it was always around me, you know. I remember this one time when I got out of the drunk tank, you know, and uh, my grandfather was right there to pick me up, and uh, it wasn't the last time I drank though, you know, but it was the last time I drank like that. While we were driving, he said he was a lot like me, a troublemaker, you know. His elders decided to take him to the territories, leave him by himself. It was to help someone on their healing journey, he said. He was only given a few tools and a sleeping bag. By the end of that time, he said he was clean. A bit of it was alcohol, but more of his head and his heart. And he turned to me and said, uh, he said, uh, it's your turn, young buck. And what was your healing journey like? This, this experience was the hardest and the most terrifying thing I've ever been through. Um, but it was also the best, like, uh, I, th I thought I was going to die at first. Uh, people did come and bring me supplies, but, uh, but I didn't know them really, you know, like, uh, uh, until I found out that, uh, they were my clan. Uh, I learned out there that we have everything we need, and, uh, I learned pretty quick that, uh, Toilet paper is a blessing from the creator to you, you know? And, uh, <laughs> How were you different when you were brought back to your home community? I was different, but it wasn't, it wasn't very obvious to begin with. Like, uh, my friends still wanted me to, uh, my friends still wanted me to be the guy they knew uh, before I stopped drinking. It took me another month to get a decent paying job uh, in a town about 30 minutes away from here. And uh, uh, I held that job for about a year. But the combination of, of me getting my life together, my ex going to jail, and me qualifying for legal aid uh, added up to uh, my daughter being with me now, you know. and. Uh, it means a lot. I get to raise my. I get to raise her, and uh, and she gets she gets to learn her Dene culture. But the uh, the judge says we will revisit the parental roles uh, when her mom gets out. Uh, but I hope she is well enough to be part of my, our daughter's life one day.